Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. I am Virginia Mulligan, a program manager within Alberta Innovates Clean Resources Division. Welcome to the announcement of the Smart Agriculture and Food Digitalization Challenge. Uh, I want to particularly welcome Minister Nate, uh, Nate Horner from Agriculture, Forestry and Rural Economic Development, and of course, our very own Laura Kilchris, CEO of Alberta Innovates. Uh, before we proceed, I want to recognize the lands that we stand on today. Uh, we acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit who have lived on and cared for these lands for generations. We are grateful for the traditional knowledge keepers and elders who are still with us today and those who have gone before us. Alberta Innovates respectfully acknowledges that we are situated on traditional territory of the Treaty 6, Treaty 7, and Treaty 8 First Nations home of Métis settlements, the Métis Nation of Alberta, regions two, three, and four within the historical Northwest Métis homeland. We respect histories, languages, and cultures of First Nations Métis and Inuit, whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. I am very pleased to introduce the Honorable Minister Anne Horner of Agriculture, Forestry, and Economic Rural Development. He was elected to the Legislative Assembly of Alberta for the constituency of Drumheller Stedler in April of 2019. He is also a rancher with a cow-calf mix operation. He has uh, also been an active volunteer serving as an emergency medical responder for the Dryland Emergency Medical Services Association, president of the Highway 9 Feeder Co-op Association, and co-chair of the Hardgrass Bronc Match. He was served as the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, and Rural Economic Development in November of 2021. Welcome, Minister. No, thank you uh, very much for the introduction. It, it is a, a pleasure to be here today, and it's a very exciting day anytime we get to talk technology and agriculture. Uh, so sincerely thank you for the opportunity. Uh, and yeah, we're here to announce almost $3.2 million in project funding under the Alberta Innovate Smart Agriculture and Food Digitaliz Digitalization and Automation Challenge. This funding supports 10 projects that will provide solutions to challenges in Alberta's agri-food sector and demonstrate social, economic, and environmental benefits. Alberta's agriculture and agri-food sectors play a key role in growing and diversifying our economy and driving technological innovation. Alberta's government is supporting the development of smart and digital technologies to boost production, reduce costs, and create jobs in the agri-food sector. The past few years have been a challenge for farmers and livestock producers for a multitude of reasons. However, Alberta's agriculture and agri-food sector has been a bright spot in our province's economy. Our agri-food sector contributes more than $8 billion in economic output, continuing to drive growth and create new opportunities. As Alberta's economy recovers, we're focused on supporting job creation and building a dynamic future for rural communities across the province. Alberta Innovates is a critical partner in advancing industries, our economy, and our communities. It's encouraging to see partnerships like this in action, where we can leverage funding and expertise from different organizations and address priorities for our agriculture and agri-food sectors. This investment supports projects that will develop or advance smart technologies to enhance food production through digital solutions and automation. These technologies will help Alberta producers improve the productivity and overall sustainability of farming operations, reducing waste and the environmental footprint of production and decreasing costs for farmers. The projects are leading groundbreaking work in areas such as artificial intelligence and robotics for meat grading and classification, smart technology systems for more precise and efficient farm machinery, mapping and machine learning to monitor the impact of agricultural practices on soil health, and advanced technologies for cost-effective agricultural insights. Alberta has always been on the cutting edge of innovation in our agriculture and food sector. This investment represents that ongoing commitment, supportive, innovative, made-in-Alberta solutions to address challenges in the agri-food industry. 
It will create high paying jobs, boost the sector's competitiveness, increase exports and attract future investment to the province. I look forward to seeing the results of these future focused projects. Thank you again very much to Alberta Innovates for your work in the agri-food sector and for hosting today's event. And now I would ask uh, the CEO, Laura Kilcrease, to come up and, and address the crowd. Well, thank you, Minister Horner. Um, you know, I live in the world of innovation every day, and innovation to me is key to growing the economy, expanding markets and creating new and better opportunities for Albertans. Alberta Innovates is building on Alberta's natural strengths in new ways using data, digital technologies, artificial intelligence, clean technologies, and other emerging areas that we now know we can pivot into new opportunities. For example, we're applying digital technologies to smart agriculture, food development and distribution to feed a very hungry world. You know, until now, the digital farm has been out of reach. There's been no way to manage the data. However, data-enabled uh, innovation now allows us today to manage that large, important, complex set of information. And that helps us improve decision-making and predictability and efficiency on the farm. In fact, if I ask you to imagine with me a farm where crop diseases can be identified by satellites and drones, where autonomous tractors work fields 24-7, 365 days a year, where remote sensors track soil conditions to real-time allowing targeted fertilizer applications, or indeed where robots are the ones that go into the field and, and uh, pick the weeds in, in specific crop areas to reduce pesticide use, or indeed where blockchain technology is applied to consumer quality assurance so they know their food, uh, where their food is, and how safe it is in every step of the value chain. Smart agriculture and smart farms connect agriculture the equipment manufacturers, the food processing, the data, the analytics, and the pure technology that brings food security within our own households. Alberta Innovate Smart Agriculture and Food Digitization and Automation Challenge, excuse me, that's a mouthful, so we we'll call it SAFDAC from now on. This SAFDAC program supports projects to develop or advance smart technologies. Through SAFDAC, these projects aim to increase productivity, reduce production costs, and increase the value of Alberta's agri-food products for the farmers and those along that value chain. And I have to say I want to very much thank the leader of our group here, uh, Natisha, who's actually led this program and, and brought it to fruition. Thank you. Alberta can have a tremendous impact on sustainable food production. With a global population forecast to reach 9 billion by 2050, and almost a billion of those people today undernourished, underfed, or needing uh, more uh, food, I think we have a great opportunity in this province to bring and, and, and satiate that demand for high quality, sustainable food products produced with a smaller environmental footprint. Alberta Innovates is driving transformational change through investments like SAFDAC to impact the performance at every step along that value chain, from rangeland and field to the restaurant and the fork. Producing healthy food for healthy people in Alberta and sending the rest that we don't need across the world is something we really want to do. Technology is increasingly enabling us to see beyond what is the obvious, to find those opportunities and solutions that were previously hidden to us. So we're very much looking, looking at a period in time like few others in the history of agriculture, where we really can move this not just into the 21st century, but beyond for what we can do with our net food exports and production here. The technologies that are being developed and complement each other in this unprecedented uh, form of grant that we're giving today will transform not just what the farmers and the food producers do, but will transform, help transform our world into the future of smart farms and ag tech for the next uh, few decades to come at a minimum. So here in Alberta, we have an opportunity to shape the, the new future. Alberta is absolutely flush with trailblazers 
like our next speaker, Curtis Broder from Wyvern, one of the recipients here. And Wyvern Space is another company, you would say space in ag, and I'd say yes. In many cases, we would say the sky is the limit. But in this case, with Wyvern and Curtis, I'd say the sky is definitely not the limit as it applies to agriculture. And I would ask Curtis to come up and join us. Thank you. Thanks everyone for coming today. My name is Curtis Broda and I'm a co-founder and the VP product development at Wyvern Space. And on behalf of Wyvern, I'd like to access our sincere thanks to Alberta Innovates and the SAFDAC program for this investment as well as the support they've given to all 10 amazing projects they have funded this year. The innovation in the sector is such an exciting place in Alberta right now, and it's so great to be part of an opportunity that bridges new technologies with a crucial industry in Alberta. Wyvern is based in Edmonton, and we are a space data company that captures high-resolution, hyperspectral imagery from space. That is, we use satellites with advanced cameras to take pictures of the Earth. And it's been an incredibly exciting year for Wyvern. Just in the past 12 months, we've raised over $10 million from some of the top venture capital firms in the United States and Canada, grew to 21 employees, graduated from Y Combinator, and just this week started our first field trial operations at Olds College. While there's lots to celebrate now, it's been a long journey to get here. In fact, not too many months ago, we were still working in our parents' basement, just trying to keep the business alive. But we've managed to go from surviving to thriving, and it's programs like SAFDAC that help us push these new innovative technologies to market and help us get across the chasm. Wyvern's co-founders helped build and launch Alberta's first ever satellite in 2017, Exalta One, with the second satellite being built and launched by students upcoming in the next few years. All of that out of the University of Alberta. It was after gaining that hands-on experience of bringing satellites to space that we came together to found what is what now is one of Canada's fastest growing space companies. And from day one, Wyvern has looked to the agricultural industry as a significant opportunity and challenge. Our goal has always been around solving a major problem in the industry, lack of high resolution satellite imagery at the right price. It's this goal that's helped us to push to totally reimagine what the satellite looks like, how it's designed, and how it serves its customers. Farmers need imaging that covers a vast amount of land. They need timely imaging and analytics. They need high spatial and spectral resolution. And above all, they need it at the right price. Nothing like this exists in the market, and that's the problem that we are going to try to solve. If this is successful, we will help to increase the productivity and sustainability of Canadian farmlands and believe our technology will help achieve this by informing diagnostic tools that optimize the inputs farmers use. This is incredibly important as we've seen this year with the crisis in Ukraine and the rising input costs of fertilizer and fuel. Farmers are reaching to every tool in their toolbox to help maintain their business sustainability. Wyvern hopes to play a vital role in solving this problem. We'd like to thank the SAFDAC program for helping Wyvern deliver on our mission to provide this satellite imaging as we gear up for our first satellite launch in October of this year. The support from this program allows us to work with innovative partners in the ecosystem, capture data on real farms, and show real impact to our end user. We believe this funding will further position both Wyvern and Alberta as leaders in smart agricultural solutions and deliver tangible results to real end users and help farmers produce more food for less. I'd like to thank all the support from SAFDAC and Alberta Innovates once again. Thank you. Okay, we can now begin our media Q&A. Is there anyone on the line? And uh, it doesn't sound like it. So with that, I think we can conclude today's announcement. Thank you very much for showing up. <laughs>